Welcome to RadicalWellnessTV.com. This is Laura Lee, and I'm here with Stephanie Tiford from HomeShare Slow. Stephanie, you're here to do some creative um, housing ideas. Um, what is home sharing? Well, home sharing is when um, people decide to move in together and share a home. Um, people are familiar with renting rooms, um, people renting rooms in homes, but in home sharing, there's a degree of shared space. Maybe you're sharing a kitchen, maybe you're sharing an entry. Um, but you just two people decide to come together and and live together to um, make uh, both people help both people meet their goals. Wonderful. What is, why why home share and what are the benefits from it? Well, um, especially in a county like ours where uh, we have really expensive housing and um, not very much attainable housing or affordable housing. Um, People might decide that uh, they would like to take in a renter uh, so that they can help meet some of their financial needs. Um, and the extra money that comes in by renting a room um, can really help pay for um, things that otherwise uh, you don't have money for. Uh, if you're paying more than 30% um, of your income towards your housing, that means that you're not being able to pay for things like medication or um, house upkeep at your home or um, or anything else that improves your quality of life. So um, having somebody come in and rent uh, with you, rent a room in your home, um, can help you do the things that you wanna do. Some people do home sharing because they um, lack companionship or social connection. And so they might decide that they're um, ready for some company in the house. Uh, we have a lot of um, seniors in our county who are what's called overhoused. This means that they're oftentimes alone in a three and four bedroom home. And so, um, to kind of help them have the security that somebody else is there, someone else is coming and going. For family members, this is important, family members of senior citizens, um, to know that somebody is kind of around, that's very helpful. So either for financial reasons or for um, support and social co connection, home sharing can really make a, um, be a really great decision. And for people who are looking for housing, this is oftentimes much more affordable than renting a single room or a studio on your own. Wow. How does it work? Well, um, Home Share Slow um, is facilitating this home sharing and these matches by um, doing a lot of the background that uh, some people feel overwhelmed by. Maybe somebody doesn't feel comfortable going onto Craigslist and finding their own roommate. And so what Home Share Slow does is we, um, through our outreach, come aw become aware of people who are looking for housing. Uh, and we become aware of people who have extra rooms in their homes that they're not using and that they would like to make available for housing. And we do all the background screening on both providers, um, those are the people that have the rooms, and seekers, those are the people that are looking. And with um, background screening and um, credit checks and um, all kinds of background that help people feel more comfortable, we then could, um, could get to know folks that might be appropriate together. We do lifestyle questionnaire um, by getting to know somebody and spending time with somebody to understand what they're looking for in a home share and we then can forward the names of people who are appropriate seekers to people who are the providers who have the rooms and we don't arrange any matches we just make the introductions and then um, allow for people to get to know each other a little bit we have a, a multi-step process a five-step process in fact where people first have a phone call find out if they're, um, they have some type of rapport. Then they'll maybe go to a coffee shop um, and uh, meet in person and discuss what they're each looking for. And then lastly, um, or thirdly, they'll come back to the home at that point. So the home provider would let the home seeker know their address and what's available for the, um, in the share in what's offered. And, um, and if all going well at that point, we even recommend a, an overnight or trial match where a person would stay in the home. A lot of our home sharers are coming with pets and that could really present some, some issues. You wanna make sure the pets get along. You wanna make sure um, that you're comfortable in that space if you're going to rent um, and, um, and home share. Then um, after that trial match, then we all sit together for what's called a living together agreement. And it's a very extended kind of lease that talks about how a share, how a share would work. And so it's um, not a short process, but um, that's basically how it works. Wonderful. What, well, how, what is the cost around that? How does that work? For well, um, seekers who are looking for housing would um, pay a, a one-time application fee um, that right now is fifty dollars. Um, we're kind of deciding between fifty and a hundred dollars is that that right number. Our screening of that seeker costs us on average sixty-eight dollars, all going well. 
Um, so that just defrays the cost a little bit and gives the person a little buy-in. And then um, we do that same screening for providers, but providers don't pay an application fee. And then um, if we're successful in making an introduction that leads towards a match, then um, that first month's rent that the seeker would pay to the, um, to the provider comes to the program. And so the, the, the provider starts making a, a regular monthly income from that rent after the second month. And HomeShare Slow, having that first month's rent helps us in our operating costs. I do want to say a, a, um, something else about the rent. There are some HomeShare programs that work on, with something called a work trade and they um, don't necessarily take in rent or have a reduced rent for some expected work. HomeShare Slow doesn't work with work trades. We are purely um, a, a rental um, and a little below market rent um, kind of program because we think that's important for the provider to have um, an set an expectation that this is the money that they'll, they will get and then they can pay for extra services they might need at the home if they need some more in-home care or if they'd like to have someone to cook for them or they'd like some driving transportation, they'll pay, um, they'll use the money that they earn from, um, from the rental for that. Wow, so yeah. it sounds like it's covered. Talk about creative housing. Um, what is, um, what's your contact? How do we get a hold of you if we have more questions? Um, well, we have a great website, a very robust website, www.homeshareslow.org. Um, our phone number is 805-215-5474. And it's three of us working on HomeShare, myself, Celeste, and Anne. And you'll find Celeste answering that phone. And, um, and my email is stephaniehomeshareslow um, at gmail.com. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much. And I'm going to have this in the transcription for you if you can't hear because of the helicopter. <laughs> anyway, love life and life will love you back. Thanks a lot, Stephanie. Thank Bye you. for now.